It's Monday the 18th of October. Queensland have just made an announcement that no matter what, they'll be opening their borders on the 17th of December. So I've changed their Phase C opening to a light orange. I think that their hand has been forced by the federal government because they're not going to fund businesses after they reach 80%. And I think New South Wales has forced their hand because they know that keeping the virus out is going to be harder once they open to international, international nationals, nationals coming back who are going to want to come back to Queensland. So they recognise their hand has been forced and there's nothing they can do except tell people to get vaccinated. And they think that they can cope with the outbreaks and it looks like regional Queensland is in more trouble than the city. I think that is going to force Matt McGowan's hand because otherwise he's going to be an island in the whole of the country. So he's going to have to make an announcement too. I can't see him all holding out all by himself. That would be political suicide. I think also Queensland are aware that when there's no outbreaks, people are a bit apathetic, a bit complacent not worried about getting it or delaying it because they're not worried. Uh, I think the more you keep the virus out, the less likely people are going to be in a hurry to get vaccinated. So things moved very slowly today. It must be the result of Sunday. Um, hardly anybody's figures moved. But uh, South Australia is getting very close to overtaking the Northern Territory on the ABC list. I thought they would overtake them today. But uh, no, it's going to take a, another couple of days or a, maybe tomorrow. The Northern Territory only moved up by 0.1. So they were at 58.9. They went up by 0.1. So it still looks like they're ahead of South Australia, but there's only 0.3 of a percentage in it. And they're now both going to get get to 60% in three days. But that's 60%, that's not even 70%. And 70% is uh, no lockdowns. And uh, they're already out of lockdown, so 70% is irrelevant for a state that's not in lockdown. It's 80% that counts. So, I'm thinking that the state borders are going to have to open in line with Queensland's date of the 17th of December. Now, I don't know, she said that's a hard number. So I don't know whether she means, even if we're not at 80%, we're opening on the 17th. Uh, so get as close to 80% as you possibly can. Or what, I don't know. But they, they're going to try and push it harder and faster. They're letting people know, time's up, you got to get vaccinated because we're opening up. There's no more money to look after you. We can't protect you if you have to lock down it when we're at 80%, so you better get yourself vaccinated and sort yourself out. It's on you now. And I think Mark McGowan might have to do the same thing. So I'm waiting on what he has to say. It's going to be very interesting. Because, uh, he, I don't know, he's, he's got the guts to go his own way. And if he thinks it's not safe or he thinks... The hospital can't cope with uh, a couple of hundred thousand cases all at once. Then uh, he might say, no, our hospitals are not going to be able to cope with it until we get to this stage. So, and, and actually it sounds like it sucks because as soon as we open, we're going to have to start having restrictions. So we'll be open but shut down.
will allow everybody in from overseas and the other states. But then we'll have to have limits on things and stuff like that. So it's not a good thing for us to open up, really. I mean, I know we do need to be like a normal country again, be able to go in and out, but it's going to suck. We're going to have to start wearing um, masks and maybe...